world headquarters of common sense. Talk radio. Uh, Claire Ford, good evening to you. Welcome yeah. to the programme. Why are teachers so woke? <laughs> Hi, thank you for having me here. Uh, well, not you say all that teachers now. are woke. And, um, you know, those that are woke, you know, aren't necessarily... It's a bit like jump, jumping on the bandwagon, I think. Exactly, um, is it? I think conscious educators are few and far between, to be honest. Um, and I think that, yeah, it's a difficult and thorny subject. And... Uh, it's a tricky one to talk about because it's a bit divisive, I guess. That, but I think personally, I do think that teachers need to need to wake up. I think parents need to wake up. I think, I think we all do. I think that humanity is waking up, and that the pandemic has forced that upon us to an extent. Waking up to what? Do you mean? Yeah, I was going to say that. What well, are we becoming waking aware, up to? Becoming aware, just becoming aware what, that what? these these old paradigms, these old patterns, these systems that we've got aren't fit for mm. purpose. Which systems are those? Well, I mean, the education system, for example, has mm. been failing children long before the pandemic, uh, in many ways, and Why? I think it. I think that. Um, it's because of its failure to adapt. You know, when mm. when it was created, you know, for example, I think the Education Act in 1944 said that they wanted to train young people to be 20% clerical workers, 80% mm. manual workers. Whereas, of course, now um, the workforce that young people are going into is completely different and yeah. I truly are teachers believe... too thick nowadays uh Claire Ford are teachers a bit thick I think I've met lots of teachers and they all seem a bit dumb and a bit dull I mean it is the old adage if you can you do and if you can't you teach do you think that's fair I think that's absolutely not fair at all I think teaching really prove is... it to me I think that teaching is is one of the most difficult professions um Why? and that actually to stay in teaching is is very difficult uh it's mm. so stressful it's it's why is it stressful highly, highly it's an easy job why is it stressful you very <laughs> seldom get the sack how can that be stressful it's a highly pressurized and often very toxic environment and why? um i think because of all the uh, checks, balances, standardised testing, paperwork. But this is all a modern thinking. system, isn't it? This is we need to get back to the old basics. It's you know, it's all bring these... back corporal punishment. Yeah, Came know... the little bastards. Well, That's no, what we I need, mean, as they said, you know, you can't have exams no these days. The anymore. poor kids, they can't have the pressure of exams. They've got, to... and gradually they've been mollycoddled. And like you say, there's also a lot of box ticking now. And teachers have got to fill mm. in this form. And we should just get back to the basics of good teachers. You know. Getting I kids. They're all left wing. wing. That's the trouble. Eh? You know, They're teachers, all bloody left wing. Well, you can't. Teachers you... should have been, a, you know, should be allowed to teach. And unfortunately, the teaching aspect of teaching in schools is quite small. There's so many, so much other rubbish that teachers no. have to do to. What sort of rubbish? Crowds out the. Uh, what sort of you know, rubbish? Crowds out their headspace. Well, all the the meetings, the meetings about the meetings. Mm -hmm. the, and this the, is all linked with wokeness and all this. We've got, oh, we better do this and we better do that. Wokeness. We better do it's, tick this no, box and that box. It's not yeah. linked with wokeness it's at all. Linked, all. Isn't it? It it's well, you're all a bit woke, aren't you? Come on, Claire. Teachers are all a bit woke. All this, oh, we're going to go vegetarian. That's not your decision to make about my children. Absolutely. Okay? And I would never, I would never say the whole school has to be vegan. You have to be able to have a choice. People yeah. have to be able to have a choice. You know, families have a choice. Parents I'm not really sure why children should have a choice at school. We never had, I had to go and have school dinners and they were mostly sh shocking. Yeah. So the meat, you know, especially, got, was, was terrible. Yeah, the meat was pretty was terrible. Worst but, meat, you know. Yeah. It helps you become a man or a woman, whatever you want to be. Apparently, you can't be a man or a woman, Claire, anymore. You've got to be a thing. <laughs> you can choose how to define yourself. Is the point. no? You can't. You're a woman. Well, why can't if you? That's I how you're going to be defined. If I define myself as that, then I am. But if I yeah. choose not to define myself as that, then that's why my would choice. you do that? Why would you do that? Well, you'd be sir or madam, wouldn't you? Or miss or sir? I mean, what... No, no, Ash, why would you, if you're a woman or a man, decide to not to be a woman or a man unless you want to change Well, you change could change. Sex, yeah, like exactly. So you that, might yeah. have started off a miss, miss and then you might be a sir. But there's those Those are the two options, aren't there? Or are there other options now? Is that... There are, there are some people that do not find themselves in that one of two options. 
There are some well, they're people. rare, few and far between. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Few and far between. And actually, is that something that children need to know about until they get to a sort of adult age? It never caused problem 40 years ago, did it? Or did no, it? we never had I never problems. heard of people who had problems with it. And why do so many people, Claire Ford, have so many mental health issues nowadays when life is so much easier than it used to be? Well, it's um, more I complicated in some ways, isn't it? It's, it is more complicated in some ways. It's not that easy for our young people with the rise oh, of um, social media. What's, what do you mean it's no, not so, I'm sorry, it's it's not not so rubbish, good for young people? They've got everything they want it's nowadays. It's absolutely not rubbish. I mean, you know, I think that... It absolutely um, is rubbish. NHS Trust have said that 60% of students under 18 have been referred to a mental health specialist but have not received the treatment. You know, and this is the thing that that oh, I'm glazing even over. when even when children are I'm crying out over. support, the support isn't there, yeah. and that's what's actually that's ac very across scary. the whole of the mental. Yeah, health. but you you know, everybody yeah. now when things are not going right for them, not everybody, but lots of people when it, things are not, they say, oh, "Oh, my mental health is now at stake." How many flipping teachers do you hear going, "Oh, my mental health is not"? Uh, it's obviously if you say that you're in the wrong job. You tell me. You know all about teaching, obviously. I probably know more than you do about it, obviously. <laughs> OK. I mean, well, you know, you're standing there telling me the education of our kids is really great and the teaching is really great. I'm not great saying it's moment. really great. I did not I say I don't really see great. that. It needs to be changed, is what I'm saying. It needs well, change to be it changed. then. Every time There's somebody suggests it... I the have. Union. I am changing it. I've created. But what is the changes? Academy. The big changes that need doing this. So I've created an uh, an online academy to try, in my own way, to uh, to to make some changes. And some of the changes that, you know, I talk about with my students. Yes, we learn the three R's: English, maths, you know, reading, writing, and all of that. But we do it in a creative way. We do it in a way that is meaningful what? and relevant for the students. What is so mean? they're not just regurgitating stop, stuff. Stop, stop, stop. Teach us to read, to write, to calculate, and then we can get on with life, OK? 100,000 children leave the education system every year unable to read and write. Yes. How they get through you lot, I have no idea. But it's been the same number, roughly, since the end of the Second World War. And it it's seems to tragic. me... absolutely that we're, tragic. Well, never mind, it's tragic. You're going on about all this and we do it this way. That just teach children, people to read and write. I know. They don't read adequate levels, even by the end of primary school. So there's something wrong with the system. The class sizes are too big. We're not able to, uh, to help the children who need support. We're not able to push the talented and gifted children so that they can reach their potential and the ones in the middle get left behind this it is and this is why i'm not in the education system i've it's left never it. been any different so I should mean, we have we... grammar schools is that what you're saying we should have i'm not saying what kind of schools we should have well, should we have don't that... you think we should have grammar schools or... I, d I didn't say we should or we shouldn't have well, grammar what's schools. your view though I think we should have lots of different kinds of schools and give parents the choice. So we should have. And this is what's happening with the pandemic. <laughs> parents now are empowered. They can vote with their feet. So they can choose grammar school. You know, they could choose um, to ha go to forest school, flexi schooling, world schooling, no schooling, homeschooling. There are so many different kinds of schooling available now. No wonder now. the world is in a mess, Claire Ford. Because you give people too much choice and then they don't bother. They just go with the flow. All you need, you don't need all that airy fairy stuff. In my opinion, what you need to do is teach children to read and write. Like in I China, they hot house them, don't they? Now. They hot house them they in China. Do. And, and they do very well. Scary. Well, yeah, very good. It makes they? them do better, doesn't it? Make them, aren't they, they ahead do. of the, the curve? Curve. When it comes Not to really. It. I mean, I think schools like Finland. The problem are ahead is there's the no curve. discipline in school now, is there? You don't get respect. Well, that is true. A lot of kids just ignore you because you're all yeah. a bit wishy-washy. Spare the rod, spoil mm -hmm. the child. Mm. A bit more rod. See, you know we're talking sense now. You've got no answer. But you can't that, say you? that. There's certain things you can't... We've, we've had teachers who sort of agree with us, but they say, we can't say this in our school because we will be run out of town, basically. So you can't have certain views in school now. Teachers are disempowered. Yeah. And therefore children are disempowered. 
and headmasters as well, aren't they? You, you know, because a lot of headmasters yeah. said that. We there's know. a lot of there's a lot of people at the top who are making wrong decisions, which filter down and affect everybody. Good talk, hot, hot talk, talk. Bold talk, talk radio. Listen on your smart speaker. Watch it live on your smart TV. The world headquarters of common sense. Talk radio.